when we come into a relationship, we have like a whole history and a whole biology that is entirely different from our partner. So the way that we experience the exact same events is going to be so different from our eyes and our body as our partners. And I even think about this as like, if I had a terrible night of sleep and my partner had a great night of sleep, we're going to encounter my child's whining in so such a different fashion. Like if dinner agreed with my husband and it didn't agree with me, we're going to encounter, you know, the the likelihood that we're going to have an intimacy, intimate encounter tonight, you know, in a really different way. So, you know, recognizing that our histories and our experiences and our preferences and our personalities all set us up to experience life in really different ways helps to give us a better chance to be open to understanding how our partner experiences things differently. And I'll just name another study that I absolutely love, which is we don't have to know exactly what our partner is thinking or feeling to connect with them. It is very useful to try to put some effort in. So this is what the study found, is that empathic effort matters much more than empathic accuracy. So if you're trying to understand why your partner feels differently and you're conveying, like, I I don't totally get it. I see it so differently. But help me understand. I care enough about you and our relationship to try to understand where you're coming from. That counts a lot. That helps your partner feel cared for, even if at the end of the day you don't fully understand because you have such a different perspective. That effort is really meaningful. The stories piece really struck me because one of the exercises my wife and I did uh, a little while ago was define our core values. Oh, I love that you did that. And congratulations, by the way. The values were shared, but what was interesting is even with the values being shared, there's different stories that we tell ourselves about those values and experiences in our life that led us to those values. So for me, it's become kind of like an Easter egg hunt to discover, as I learn more about my wife, why that core value is important to her. So one example is freedom. We both kind of landed on that as a core value. For me, it was more around the time bucket, whereas for my wife, it was more around the financial bucket. And freedom on paper, it sounds really exciting. And of course, we both love the fact that there was overlap there. But dialing it in and, and bringing that empathy to the equation around the core value of like, well, what exactly does that mean? And how has this shown up in your life? And what's that past history that kind of led you to having this core value? It's been really exciting to unravel and unpack these core values that we had, even ones that don't necessarily align or overlap. So I think a lot of times these exercises are a great starting point, but we really have to work throughout the relationship to learn more about our partners because we often think just because we spend a lot of time together, we talk about everything, as Johnny said, that we might know everything about our partner. But that study really struck me, the stories we tell ourselves, there isn't as much overlap as we think. So it's important to dedicate that time and space to continue the discovery process about your partner. Yeah, 100%. I mean, in some ways, I think the more we have been with a partner, the more prone we are to making mistakes because we make so many assumptions. And people are, you know, most likely the partner that you are with is more interesting and going to be more likely to evolve than you're giving them credit for. So check your assumptions at the door and get curious. Mm -hmm. 